Hey everyone, in this video we are going to talk about some features that we wished After Effects had. In case you don't know, Adobe does have a website where you can post all of these feature requests. If it gets highlighted and there are a lot of upvotes, then there are chances that Adobe might pick it up and it will be implemented in the coming versions of After Effects. Speaking of the features, there are free and paid plugins. Using them, you can do most of these things. I will mention them in this video, but this is not sponsored by any of the plugin creators. So let's begin. Now the first one is copying the easing from one keyframe to other. Now this is something that I use a lot. Let's say you have spent a lot of time in adjusting the easing of a keyframe and now you want to copy this onto a new one. But unfortunately there is no inbuilt way to do that. And fortunately there is a free plugin which is quite popular called Easy Copy using which you can just copy the easing from one keyframe and just paste them to other very easily. Now the next feature that I really wish After Effects had is grouping layers. Now if you have used Photoshop then you might have seen that you can group multiple layers into a single folder and after that you can apply a bunch of different effects and transformation on the group itself. Now don't confuse grouping with pre-compose because in pre-compose we are basically creating a new entity whereas in grouping we are just rearranging the layers to have a better control on them. And I wish we had something like this in After Effects. Now if you want this feature then we have a paid plugin called Workflower. It has all the functionality such as grouping layers and bunch of different other features that are very useful. And this plugin also solves a problem which is our next feature request which is applying effects to a single layer. Now this is something equivalent to clipping mask in Photoshop. Here in After Effects you can see I have an adjustment layer and I have applied the glow effect on top of it. So this is affecting all the layers which are beneath this. I wish we had a feature from where we can just simply select all the layers which we want the effect to be applied to. So for example if I only want the effect to be applied to these two green and yellow circles then I wish we could have just some toggles like trackman and we can select the layers on which we want the adjustment layer to be applied. Again this is something that you can get inside this plugin and you can apply effects to selected layers. Now the next feature that I wish After Effects had is grayed out layers when they are turned off. So for example we have 10 layers over here and if I disable any of these layers using this eye icon you can see that there is no particular indication. You can see that all the layers are still same only this icon is identifying which layers are turned off. So I wish After Effects had some features in which if I disable any of these layers using the eye icon it will gray out this layer. So these are very easily identifiable in the timeline. Now the next thing that I wish After Effects had is called gradient maps. Now if you have used Photoshop then you might know what I mean. In Photoshop you can easily create gradient maps and you can just map beautiful colors to them. Now in After Effects we don't have anything like this but we do have some effects which are sort of like workaround but don't give you the exact result. So for example we have this effect called Colorama. So in this you can see we have a bunch of different presets. It does give you a somewhat similar kind of look but it is very difficult to arrange and to manage the colors in this and this is not the best option. We do have some effects like CC Toner which will give you uh, something close to gradient map but this is not exactly what we want. Now speaking of Colorama, if you have used this effect then you might have seen that if I open up the color panel you can see that still we are getting this old version of color picker. I wish they could update it to the newer one since we have the new color picker in all the other options. Now in the latest version of After Effects we have this very big update to the track mat option. Now we can select the track mat from a single layer and we can just select whatever layer we want without having to create multiple layers. Now this is very amazing. But the problem is that the parenting or the pick whip for the track mat is very similar to that of parenting option and sometimes I accidentally pick up the parenting pick whip instead of the track mat. Now this is something that have been discussed in the forms as well and Adobe might give us a solution for this as well. Now the next feature that a lot of people want is scale UI. Since you know that After Effects is a very complex program and you can see that there are a bunch of different small texts and buttons and sometimes it's very difficult for people who don't have perfect vision and this is something a lot of people want to have an option so that they can scale the UI elements so that they can see the options clearly. Now these are some features that I wish After Effects had and if you have your own list or you want some features in After Effects then make sure to mention them in the comments below. I would love to read what you guys think and if you want you can also go to the Adobe website and you can just have your own feature request. I will put a link in the description from where you can do that. So I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe and if you have any queries or questions then you can ask in the comments below. So with that being said my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.